The trailer for Minecraft Live 2023 is out, and if you haven't seen that yet, definitely go and watch it first before watching this video, because I'm going to be referencing back to that a lot in this video. So, let's get going. So I have four ideas for how Minecraft Live 2023 could possibly go based on the trailer that has dropped today, as well as previous Minecraft Lives. So I think all of these ideas are very likely to happen. And while I think the first idea I have is probably one of the more likely scenarios, it is my least favorite. The first way I think this could possibly go is with them basically just doing a repeat of last year's Minecraft Live. Last year, if you don't remember, they basically just announced that there was going to be an update. They announced some features and they basically said that they weren't announcing any major huge update right away because they didn't want to build up a lot of hype for stuff that might not end up getting added. I think there is a slight possibility that might be how they do Minecraft Lives going forward, which very much worries me because it would mean that this year and for the foreseeable future Minecraft lives, they're just going to be announcing a few features of a probably unnamed update, which could mean that updates just in general get a lot smaller or maybe they they stick with larger updates as well as smaller updates it's just that N minecraft live is no longer the place for those updates to be announced in their full so it is my least favorite idea on how this could go i guess we'll see what happens but if i had to put my money on it i don't actually think this is what's going to happen but i do want to throw this out there that this may happen now that we got the depressing one out of the way let's talk about a bit more of an exciting idea that they could be announcing now while minecraft live trailers in the past haven't been the best at directly showing us what's going to happen i do think that it is worth looking at a very prominent aspect of this minecraft live trailer that is the deep dark being shown a lot in the second half of the trailer now as you may be aware already there are plenty of theories going around that mojang are going to be adding a skulk dimension or like a deep dark dimension into the game and the way to access that dimension is through the portal looking structure in the center of the ancient cities. This makes a lot of sense. There is a lot of traction to this theory. One of the biggest points is that the reinforced deep slate is not craftable. You cannot obtain it in survival mode at all. I think it might be able to be moved from the center sort of structure of the ancient city, but I don't think it can be broken. Maybe it can be, but either way, it shares a lot of similar properties with obsidian and especially end portal frames. So I think there is a bit of a possibility that they could announce a deep dark dimension update in Minecraft Live 2023. I think out of all of the ideas, this is the least likely. Either way, I think it's very likely that this dimension or like this central structure of the deep dark will be given a purpose in the future likely a portal to a dimension. I think that's nearly inevitable. I just can't see that being soon, but it is a possibility for Minecraft Live 2023. The third possibility I have in mind, I think might be the most likely. Maybe that's just me really, really wanting this to be the update. Maybe it's the fact that I think the whole community, or at least a lot of the community is in a sort of agreement that this is what the best idea for the next update would be and that is of course an end update again i think this is the most likely if i sort of put myself into mojang's shoes we've had a couple of smaller updates since the caves and cliffs i guess technically 1.19 was caves and cliffs part three but like you know it's whatever either way i think that an end update is the most likely scenario here again maybe that's just me wanting it 
to happen really bad. But I think out of everywhere in the game, it is the place that needs it the most. We'll see what happens. I have my hopes. And I think the biggest place in the trailer that this might be teased at is the fact that a stronghold is shown in the trailer. Now, why is this important over the Deep Dark? Because this is a lot more important for this trailer than the Deep Dark being shown. The Deep Dark was shown in the last trailer, I believe. The last trailer showed the Deep Dark um, possibly more than this one did in a very similar fashion too. So I don't think that showing of the Deep Dark in the second half of this trailer is meant to tease a deep dark update or a deep dark dimension update. The thing that makes the stronghold different is the fact that I, I don't think this has been shown in any Minecraft live trailers. And it seems like a very oddly specific thing to have in the trailer. Now, sure, it could have just been thrown in for whatever reason, but it is weird. And the fact that the end update is one of the updates that the game needs the most, in fact, I think it's the update the game needs the most, I think this, I think this warrants raising an eyebrow towards the stronghold being shown in the trailer. So I guess we'll see what happens. All right, now I have one final idea for how Minecraft Live 2023 is gonna go. And this is an update that they, they've kind of said is gonna happen, but it's never really happened. And that is a general overworld update, adding in the features of the votes, specifically the biome votes, and maybe the previous mob votes as well. I think this could be an update adding those features in, as well as possibly some other things that were teased but never added in, like the bundles. But either way, I think this has a lot of ground in both the trailer and the snapshots that have been coming out for 1.21. 1.21 has had features showing up in the snapshots for 1.20.2 as experimental features. As far as I know, all of these are focused on villagers. It would make sense for this update to be a general overworld update since they're already doing stuff with villagers. This could possibly be a sort of cleaning up of the past few updates they've had that have focused on the overworld. I think there's one specific part of the trailer that might be teasing this update. So for a brief part of the trailer, there is three different biomes shown with the cherry blossom particle effect flowing through it for whatever reason, cool animation stuff. Now, I think the first idea I have for what this specific part of the trailer means is that this is teasing that general overworld update. You see the oceans, the deserts, the jungle. This could possibly be teasing the desert biome update. Possibly something's coming with the jungle and there's also an ocean. That's the first idea for this image. I have one final thing I would like to talk about in this video and that is the mob vote coming this year once again. What's it going to be? Well, previous update trailers have teased mob votes. I think that this image most likely is teasing the mob vote. I think that the mob vote this year is going to have an oceanic mob, desert mob, and a jungle mob. That is the prediction, that is the theory I'm throwing out there right now based on this frame, this little section of the trailer. Now, aside from all of this, Minecraft Live is going to be whatever it is. I'm excited for it either way. I think in the past, they have definitely strayed from what I have expected, but I'm pretty confident in some of my predictions such as the mob vote prediction. And also, I do personally think that either an end update or an overworld update is the most likely thing they're gonna do here. But anyways, that's all I have to say for this for now. Anyways, thank you for watching. And again, if you have not seen this trailer, go and watch it. It's honestly my favorite Minecraft Live trailer.